Hi, I am Mallory O'Mara. If you are here, you probably know of me as one half of the podcast, Reading Glasses. Uh, Bria here. <laughs> and if you are here, you probably helped unlock this reward that you're watching, which is a tour of me and Bria's home bookshelf. We are do- in the middle of the Maximum Fun Drive. We've reached the level of doing a home bookshelf tour for all of you. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast every month. Thank you for helping spread the word. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Truly, we could not make the podcast without you. We are well on our way to our other personal podcast subscriber goals. We are closing in on some of our really big ones right now. Um, We're very close to Mallory having to read the Bible, and we're very close to doing a drunken erotica night. If you are interested in signing up to help support me and Bria and help us make the show every month, you can go to MaximumFun.org slash join. That's MaximumFun.org slash join. Guess what? I put on makeup. Wow, is this lipstick too dark? Um, Anyway, thanks for tuning in. This is our home bookshelf tour. Home bookshelf tour. This is the start of our home library. Me and my partner Jeremy have everything set up according to genres. That was another question that someone wanted to know if you you keep your books separate from your partners. No, uh, Jeremy and I's books are mushed together. (laughs) My bookshelf, part of my bookshelf, I have several bookshelves, um, is organized by color. You ready for this? Here's one cabinet organized by color. These are all books I've read. As you know, most of my books are on my Kindle. So um, this was mostly just for display purposes, uh, which I thought would be really pretty. I don't know, Pinterest. And here is the nonfiction. This is all nonfiction. Starts with all fairy tales, uh, mythology, folklore, moves down to like all my weird, stuff, death and uh, monsters and stuff like that, down to all of Jeremy's filmmaking and movie books. Oh my God, do you wanna see something great? I forgot I have this. This is a, um, oh, I don't know if I should show the front. A friend of mine moved into a house, an apartment, and um, he found this journal of somebody else's and I took it. And to be fair, I was like 22, so I think that's okay. And I've held on to this thing because it is good reading. Other side goes into science. A lot of feminist books, biography, memoir, so that's this whole thing. This is where all the magic of girly drinks is happening. It's all of my library books, books that I own. This is where all of my writing happens. So all these books are sort of sequestered in their own little area. This is fiction. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot. We're not, we just moved into this apartment a couple of months ago. So we're still working on it. We have to add a couple extenders to our old Ikea Billy bookshelves. Let's move on, shall we? And we have a shelf of oversized books behind me here. Oversized books, cool lamps someone gave me. Um, these need to be organized. So it starts with horror and werewolves, which is me and Jeremy's favorite genre. This is two and a half full cases of horror. Horror goes chronologically because we have so much of it. It starts with like all classic horror. You have my Poe um, and Radcliffe, all that stuff. And, and then it goes uh, up until modern day. A lot of Stephen King, <laughs> especially between the two of us. Me and Jeremy have a lot of doubles. What do you think? About a third of our library is unread. Um, Jeremy's the one who's filming this. I talked about it on the show before, but I do like having a lot of books in the library that aren't read because it feels like I'm just living in a TBR and I can, it's like a full fridge for me. I'll browse our library as if it was a bookstore and that's kind of why I like it set up uh, via genre. Unlike Mallory, I do keep my TBRs separate. Oh, you can see all my pictures behind me. These are my TBRs slash books I wanna revisit. Some, some arcs that I haven't read yet. I just got this new Sarah Kuhn. It's sitting on top, not organized, because as you can see, I've kind of run out of room. Got a good picture of me and my mom there. Here's a bunch of little pens and shit that people sent us. Um, isn't that cute? Someone gave me that. Here's a Gideon the Knife button. This is our. These are our two reading uh, chairs which we love, you can tell, mine is the black one. <laughs> this is where me and Jeremy like to sit and read. This little stack is like a books that are out or to be read imminently. But we, me and Brie are gonna have to come up with a good idea of what to call a stack of books that you're currently reading. Not a TBR, but a BR, being read, <laughs> being read stack. So I've been working on a little book nook, which is very exciting for me because I don't have a specific place I read, but I kind of read wherever. Oh, I'm gonna have to pull out because you can't really tell. It looks like this, isn't it cute? I think I'm gonna buy some pillows to put right there. Uh, And then horror goes into fantasy, which we also have a lot of, sci-fi, which goes into mystery and thriller, literary fiction, classics, poetry. It's our cat Lula. (laughs) This is where one of the cat 
scratch your areas is. There's a very loud dog. There's a loud dog who won't be quiet during all of this. Oh my God, that just reminded me I should show you all my journals, which I think is really cute. This is a shelf, it's a little messy, of um, non-active journals. Journals that I have not written in yet. Goals this year, which I decorated. Yeah, that's right. I decorate my journals. Are all of those journals made by my mother? Yes, they are mostly, almost 100%. So all of our adult fiction, and then this one more bookcase, which is all of our all of our middle grade and YA. Middle grade is up top, YA is on the bottom. And this is also organized by genre. I don't have as clearly as much YA in middle grade, so it's mostly just like horror, fantasy, and then like regular literary fiction here. My Philip Pullman, my beloved Philip Pullman up here. And lastly, we have my comic book shelf. A lot of my comic Collections are not complete. Like they have like, they're missing, a lot of them are listed missing number one because that's the one I lend to people and then I never ask for it back. My little comic shelf, which I keep um, separate from everything else. It also needs a little bit more room. Obviously like I'm stacking on top. That's Hex Wives, past guest of the show. Lady Liberty, where's her thing? We don't know. Uh, we also have a lot of graphic novels and comics, uh, but we, didn't have the space for them in the apartment. So we keep them downstairs in Jeremy's office. I did see somebody who asked about sun damage at our apartment gets a lot of sun. I close the curtains to keep, to protect all of the books from the sun every day uh, for a couple hours. So just that, so they don't get faded because we have so many of them and so many of them are horror books. So they're all black and spooky looking. <laughs> Lula, Lou. Do we have secret stashes? Yes, I do secret stash of to be read comic books. If I've randomly started in one of my random rooms. <laughs> secret stash. I think that answers everything. Thank you so much for coming on a tour of me and Jeremy's and Sailor and Lula's home library. Thank you so much for everyone who has given so far. It means so much to us. Here's to the rest of the drive. I hope you all enjoy the other things that we have in store, the other events, the other fun rewards that we have coming up. And yes, thank you so much.